Let's write the Lewis structure for CSCl2. We'll also look at the molecular geometry and bond angles. So to start off, let's put the least electronegative element in the center. That's going to be the carbon. And then let's put a chlorine. We have two of them on either side and then the sulfur on the top. If we count our valence electrons, carbon has four. It's in group 14, sometimes called 4A. Sulfur, six. Chlorine, seven. But we have the two chlorine atoms. We add all that up. We get a total of 24 valence electrons for the CSCl2 Lewis structure. So we're going to distribute those here around these atoms. We'll start by putting a pair of electrons between atoms. That's going to form the chemical bond. So we've used six valence electrons so far. Then we'll complete the octets on the other atoms until we run out of valence electrons. So we've used all 24 valence electrons in all of the atoms except carbon have an octet. Carbon only has two, four, six valence electrons here. So we're going to have to share valence electrons in order to complete the octet on the carbon. Why don't we just try sharing a pair of electrons from the sulfur? That's kind of usually the one that works. So we're still only using the 24 valence electrons, but now the sulfur, it has eight. Each chlorine has eight. And that carbon in the center, it has eight valence electrons as well. So this is a Lewis structure for CSCl2. If you calculate the formal charges here, you'll see that the formal charges on each atom, that's going to be zero. If you would have the double bond on the chlorine, you would have non-zero formal charges. So this was the best structure for CSCl2. If we look at the molecular geometry, we could use the AXE notation to figure the molecular geometry out. A, that's the central atom, that's the carbon. X, the number of atoms bonded. We have one, two, three atoms bonded. And E is the number of lone pairs on the central carbon here. We look at molecular geometry from the perspective of the central atom. There are no lone pairs. So we have AX3, and if you memorize that or look it up, you'll find the molecular geometry for CSCl2 is trigonal planar. And that would look like this. We have our three atoms and no lone pairs. We end up with this trigonal planar molecular geometry. It's three atoms all in one plane. If you look at the bond angles, they would be 120 degrees. Probably a little bit different here because we have different atoms. Back to our structure. So this is the Lewis structure for CSCl2. It has a trigonal planar molecular geometry. Thanks for watching.